Oh, hello, everybody, this is Sergey Epic here, and welcome to my all new Comic Call number 107. That's right, I'm back with another all new Comic Call, and um, this is a pretty big haul. As you can see, I got two nicely sized stacks of comics here, got a couple manga. Um, it's a pretty big haul. I'm gonna try not to take too long making this video, though. I'm just trying to get this out of the way. I was trying to get this done, I was trying to get this haul done. Over the past two days, try, well, hoping that I could, but it just didn't happen. But I'm getting it done now. It's currently Sunday, February 17th when I'm recording this. Um, still got like a few hours till midnight, a little over. Um, so yeah, we're not recording this at uh, too late of hours. Um, but yeah. Um, I have technically three different hauls in here because the manga was its own haul. It was technically the latest haul I got the manga last night um, after I got off um, from work. And then I got um, the, these two stack of comics two different days and they're all mixed together. So it's not like one day was one stack, one day was another. They're all just mixed into the order that I uh, wanted to put them to show them off in the order I would probably read them in if I read them all uh if i read them one after another so yeah anyway we're gonna get right into it and i'm gonna show you guys the manga i got first so i got the next volume of tokyo ghoul volume 9 really trying to speed up the process of me finishing off the main tokyo ghoul series um this will be my third volume uh, that i have to read now i haven't read seven or eight yet so i'm gonna have to get on reading this soon um really excited though glad i have three whole volumes to read um really nice I, I was gonna get 10 also but the copy of 10 we had in the shop wasn't the best condition like the pages were like yellow and on my other cop on my other volumes were like in great condition and like look like mint and everything so i don't want one with pages yellow so yeah but i got volume 9 so that feels good hopefully soon enough i'll be able to get volume 10 but yeah and also i finally got ruby volume 1 uh, as of right now, all we know for the Ruby, um, series is that it was supposed to be one volume for each of the four main characters, so it might be done now, or they may continue, I don't know, but I got the first volume, which focuses on Ruby herself, which is nice, um, I've only watched the first season, and try to get back into watching this show soon, I've been told I should probably watch season two before I read these, which is why I haven't picked them up, but I finally said screw it and got volume one, so yeah. Gonna move right into the comic call though. For the comics, I got. What did I fully get? I think I got some. Uh, I got some Archie stuff. I got some Valiant stuff. But then I got some. What else did I get? I think it's Image that I got. I know I got some Image stuff. I got some really good Image stuff. Um, but there might be something in between too. Um. I don't know. It might just be Archie Valiant image and image in the stack. Um, then over here I got the DC and Marvel. So yeah, I'm gonna start off in this stack. First off with some Archie stuff. I finally caught up on Jughead the Hunger. I think number thirteen, which is supposed to be the last issue of this run, comes out on um, this upcoming week. So I'm only caught up for a short amount of time, and I don't review this title on the Comic Geeks. So. I am uh, going to binge read these whenever I feel is the appropriate time. So, yeah. Um, speaking of the comic and review and stuff, I've been pretty good at reading and reviewing stuff recently. Been having some good momentum. And just today, uh, just today I got, uh, today I reviewed, read and reviewed Multiple Man number two, trying to finish off that miniseries. And I've read, uh, I've read today, but I haven't got to review yet, Astonishing X-Men number 10. Justice League Dark number 6, Justice League Odyssey number 3, and Justice League number 12, which drowned Earth Pack 3. Recently, I finished reviewing, reading and reviewing The Witching Hour, um, and Justice League number five, Dark number 5, um, that crossover done. Um, I've finished off, what did I finish off recently? I finished off Maestro's image title, I've finished off the um, Mera Queen of Atlantis miniseries. We got the last two issues of that reviewed. Um, I have been reading some Astonishing X Men, of course. I have. Um, oh, I, re I read and reviewed Immortal Hulk issue number three, which is definitely 
uh, just from the first three issues. It's an awesome title. Um, and yeah, so anyway, we're going to go back to the comics. Like we're saying, I've caught up on Joke at the Hunger. Just got issue number nine, cover A, B, and C. I've got issue 10, cover A, B, and C. And I've got issue number 11, A, B, and C. And last but not least, issue number 12, A, B, with some weird bags I'm going to have to replace, and C, because they've already uh, got rips in them, because they're hard, they're not the bags they're supposed to be. Um, and now from Faliant, I have picked up Livewire, because I want to stay caught up in this title. Uh, I have yet to catch up on Bloodshot's um, Rise and Spirit, but I've learned recently it's been released that Bloodshot's going to get a new title in September. Um, so I'm almost like, well, this title doesn't even look the greatest with the interior art, but I'm hoping it's still good. I haven't gotten around to reading it yet. I haven't finished the last one before. Um, so yeah, I really got to get around to my Bloodshot reading. Hope it's uh hope Bloodshot ends up being good and that it was worth picking up this run. I'm definitely wildly cutting down on the amount. I'm not getting every cover now for Bloodshot Rising Spirit as of um as of next month's issue, I'm only getting two covers, and then I think with May's issue I'm only getting one cover, although I may end up getting two. All depends. Um but yeah, we'll see. Especially where the title's ending in august probably i might just say screw it and get two covers for the rest of the run but i don't know anyway though i got live wire issue number four and i got they, this series is pretty good covers overall this cover a regular cover is pretty good cover b meh it's all right and then the pre-order cover is pretty nice for this one so yeah pretty cool pre-order edition uh, moving on to image now i got a lot of good stuff in this haul and a lot of image stuff and it felt nice um I caught up on a title to it, and it, that's been on hiatus for a little bit with the first flying finish. I got some real good stuff in here. We're going to get to, um, I got the, fr the, fr the, the freeze issue number four, which is, uh, and this title is going to be on hiatus now. So that's, uh, nice to be up to date. I got to start reading this soon, hopefully. Hoping it's as good as I think it's going to be. I got Cemetery Beach, issue number 7 of 7. So this min this mini series is finally done. I've read them a few of the first issue. have to get around to reading the rest of this now. Got issue 7, regular cover, and the Impact variant. I've not heard the best things about this title. I really enjoyed number 1, though. So I'm hoping it's not as bad as, or that I think it's as bad as people have been saying. I really hope I'm not disappointed in too much in this. So, yeah. I've also made sure to keep up to date on... on on a natural, which I got cover A and cover B here. I also, um, here is the series I said I caught up on. Uh, finish off the first volume. I've read me through the first issue of this series, and I've had issue two, but I haven't wanted to read it because I didn't have the rest of the issues. But now I'll get back into this series hopefully soon. I got crowded issue number three, cover A and B. This was this series has been rumored to be picked up by Rebel Wilson. Uh, and possibly done as like a movie or something. Uh, and if you don't know who Rebel, Rebel Wilson is, um, she's done a lot, quite a bit. She's a pretty popular actress. Uh, the role I know her most for is Fat Amy in Pitch Perfect. So yeah, I've also gotten cover uh, num crowd at number four covers A and B. Number five covers A and B. And number six, the last issue up to this point, num covers A and B. So yeah, I really want to catch up on this title. It's been bugging me for a little bit. So yeah, did that so I felt better about it. I got The Walking Dead issue number 189, lines are drawn. Um, I've been keeping up to date on Walking Dead recently, which has been nice, and I'm excited to read this one. And I got Blackbird issue number six, which is the last issue for a bit. It's going on, hi on hiatus. Hasn't been announced to return yet, to my knowledge, unless it's going to return in June. But yeah, got covers A and B on this one. Pretty good stuff. I actually, this is another thing I started reading again recently. I read and reviewed issue number two of Blackbird. I have this reading bag now that I've put a certain amount of titles in to start to catch up on and stuff. Uh, Blackbird actually isn't in that bag, but I just randomly picked up number two from one of my comic stacks and read it and reviewed it. And I really loved it, like the first issue, so. 
Blackbird uh, might be getting more attention from me here soon. And another one I actually forgot to mention earlier. I have gotten Die issue number 4 covers A and B. And this is another title I actually just started reading too. For my 300th review on League of Comic Geeks, I, um, my 300th review on League of Comic Geeks, I decided to read and review Die number one, and it's the only issue I've read so far, and I've only, I'm only up to review number three, I just did review number 308 with that, um, <laughs> with the, uh, comic I said I reviewed earlier today, Multiple Man, um, so I've only done eight reviews since, um, and wow, Die number one was as awesome as people were saying, if you're not picking up this title, pick it up, give it a try, I cannot wait to catch up on this title, it goes on hiatus after issue 5, I was not on hiatus too too long though, but yeah, beautiful stuff, awesome stuff with this uh, title so far, as of the first issue. And last but not least, one of the hottest books of this week, if not the hottest book, but it's one of the hottest books of uh, this current week, and it is Little Bird. It's the hottest image book, that's for sure. It is Little Bird, issue number one of five from Image. Um, wow, this has gained some popularity behind it. It was some copies were selling for a bit more on eBay already. I haven't checked on it in a couple of days, but like they were going for a little bit, a couple of them. Um, looks like an awesome title. Looks like an awesome read. I've heard such great things about it. I can't wait to read this one. I'll probably be reading it sooner rather than later, hopefully. But yeah, excited to read that one can't wait I'm gonna move on to DC stuff now um, and I try to finish off a few titles in this hall and I finished off I I finished off Cemetery Beach already and there's still like two or three more titles I think in this stack of stuff that I managed to finish off which was nice um, and the first of them is cover with issue number six uh, apparently this is only going to be following one of cover and cover is going to return later in the year with a second volume or something but I got cover issue number six and I got the regular cover in the variants so I'm glad to be caught up on all the Jinx World titles currently until Pearl number seven comes out next week I think it is or this upcoming week but yeah really excited um I still haven't started reading any Jinx World titles yet but I'm actually planning to I'm actually on um a study week right now uh I still uh I'm actually on study week right now, which is like merch break, so I'm hoping I get to read an alright amount this week, though I am going to be quite busy still, so I don't know. Um, then I picked up Green Arrow number 50, the final issue of Green Arrow, and between 40, having four, issue 45 and having this issue, this has kind of made me want to get more Green Arrow, like get a run from like say 40 to 50, um, if I could. Which I may or may not still do. I probably won't, but I am really tempted to. And um, this, the reason I got this issue. Oh, by the way, I got a regular and the variant just cause. Yeah, just in case. Um, and you know, I don't know, but it, it also looks really good when I flip through it, and it ties into Heroes in Crisis and and. Justice League No Justice, so that's why I picked this issue up, and it's kind of making me want to read more Green Arrow. I think when the Green when Green Arrow returns, because he he obviously was going to return at some point, and he's already they just announced recently he's going to be returning. I'm guessing he's going to return in the summer or something. So I'm probably going to pick up his title when it returns. Um, I've always wanted to try Green Arrow a bit more. I'm tempted to get go back and get some of the Rebirth run, like I said, maybe issues 40 through 50 to start off or something. I don't know, but yeah, unless I start like trying to get from the beginning or something, which might be possible to get some of the early issues actually. So yeah, we'll see. But yeah, another speaking of green characters, I got the Green Lantern issue number five to stay up to date on the Green Lantern. I haven't started reading this yet. I'm kind of excited to though. I've started to hear more good things about it. Got the regular cover here, and the variant. Next issue, issue number six, has a really awesome variant. Um, one of the reasons why I've stuck to two covers, I'm going to be sticking to two covers for the Green Lantern for the foreseeable future. I did say um, about a month ago or something in a haul that I was going to be going down to one cover after like issue three or four, and that was a lie. It turned into a lie. I think it was supposed to be this issue. I started getting only one cover, but then the cover variant cover for issue number six was released, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna stick with two covers, and I've started hearing more good things about it. So you know, it, I am not gonna regret getting two covers on this title right now because I, I I regret dropping a lot of my other. Excuse me, I regret dropping a lot of my other DC titles to one cover, like the Superman titles or the Justice League titles. Especially Justice League Dark, because I enjoy Justice League Dark so much. I'm glad I haven't dropped 
Justice League Odyssey, the one cover, yep, because it's had some cool variants, too, so yeah. But Justice League Dark's my biggest regret, probably, from DC that I haven't kept it going. Because Justice League Dark's my favorite Justice League title um, that I'm reading right now. I've been trying to catch up on the Justice League titles a lot recently. Speaking of Justice League, here's the main Justice League, and I got, I'm got i caught up with issues 18 and 19 here. 20 comes out this upcoming week, I think. Yes, it does. With the tri trip tech, uh, with the three connecting covers. But yeah. So, yeah. And I also got Justice League Dark issue number 19 to stay up to date. Um, so yeah, great stuff. I'm going to be throwing these Justice League titles right in my reading bag after I'm done here. Uh... One of the other titles I finished off in this haul, though, um, besides covering Cemetery Beach, is The Black Order. I've had issue one for a while. I haven't read it yet, but I kind of just waited for this to end to read it all close together. So I got The Black Order, issue number two, three, issues number two, three, four, and five. So yeah, can't wait to read this. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Another title I decided I want to stay up to date on, I've been trying to stay up to date on the best of my ability, is Avengers No Road Home. So I got issues 4 and 5, I got the regular cover and connecting cover of each, as you'll see here. Oh, oh, I had these out of order. This is the four, fourth connecting cover, and then this is the fifth regular cover. Uh, Avengers No Road Home is actually really hot right now, it's supposed to be really good, there's that. Um... And Conan appears at the end of number five. We already knew he was going to be in number six, but they brought him in a little early at the end of number five. So yeah, um, excited to read that one. I'm no, I've only read the first three issues of Avengers, and nowhere near caught up on that. But I might be kind of jumping ahead and getting to the narrow road home soon because it's kind of uh, giving me the itch to read it. It's the team of No Surrender, which I loved. So yeah. Uh, moving on though, I also have been trying to stay up to date on the, the Immortal Hulk and actually get back into reading. Like I said, I read and reviewed number three recently. But I got the Immortal Hulk issue number 14, only the one cover, Sally. I wanted both covers, but you know, couldn't happen. So I'm up to date on this. Apparently, Betty Ross or, or Red She Hulk or whatever returns or debuts or something in this one. Uh, Red She Hulk's been a character before, so I'm guessing it's just a return unless it's a new version of the Red She Hulk. So yeah, I don't know. But yeah, this book is also hot right now, like quite hot. I think this, I think this is already selling for a bit more. Got Domino Hot Shots number one of five. Gonna be getting this title. I got the last run of Domino. I've only read the first and reviewed the first four issues so far. But yeah, yeah, I got the first ten. Got the uh, ten issue run there. Um, gonna try to hopefully finish that off here sooner rather than later, so I can get into this. So yeah. I also am up to date on the Age of X-Men titles. Um, first off, I got and I got all the number ones now with the connecting covers and all. So I got Prisoner X, issue number one of five. Got the regular cover and the beautiful and Hugh Ugly connecting variant. And I got the last of the number ones for Age of X-Men of the six titles, which is ridiculous. They, I'm excited to read this stuff, though, actually. Like, I've heard some good stuff about some of them, and honestly, they look pretty good to me. So yeah, I got Apocalypse and the Extracts, issue number one of five, the beautiful regular cover, and the beautiful and Hugh Oakley Connect variants. And oh my god, this book is like a psychedelic trip. It's actually so beautiful looking on the inside, in my opinion. Not that I love psychedelic trips, but I mean, it just looks good. I got Marvelous X-Men, also got Marvelous X-Men, issue number two of five. So yeah, up to date on the Age of X-Men titles. Speaking of ages, I got Age of Conan Belite, number one. Yes, I am going to be getting Savage Sword of Conan, and yes, it is up to, like, issue two or three now. I think it's up to issue three now, maybe, or maybe not, actually. I don't know. Actually, it's probably only up to issue two. It's probably, like, this next week or something that issue three comes out. But, um, yeah, I just, I just could not get this right away. And, yes, I probably won't read it right away, but I just wanted to make sure I picked it up right away. And I'm going to try to get Savage Sword of Conan in here soon. And I've already read the first issue of Barbarian, but, yeah. I just, man, this looks like such a good title. Um, the f And the rest of the Marvel haul is actually all Star Wars stuff, which might sound quite wild, because I don't tend to pick up that much Star Wars stuff. But you'll understand what's going on here in a minute. Because I finished off a title that should have been finished off by now. And I'm up to date on the Age of Republic one shot, so all the Age of Republic stuff I have now. It's just such just Age of Star Wars stuff, but yeah. Um, so I have Star Wars Age of Republic, Padme Amidala, regular cover, and McCone puzzle piece variants. And I got 
the General Grievous one shot with the regular cover, and McCone Puzzle Piece variants, which is probably poss quite possibly my favorite Puzzle Piece variant so far. He looks great in that with that background. He looks better than some. And I finally finished off the last run of Darth Vader, and I may or may not have started the new 5-issue miniseries with the number one. I may or may not have picked that up, and you may or may not see that at the end of this haul. Um, but yeah, so I got Star Wars Darth Vader, issue number 22, issue number 23, issue number 24, and last but not least, the last issue of this run. Uh, I've read up to I've read up to issue eighteen, and I've read the annual number two, and I have the last arc to read here, Fortress Fader. I think it starts in nineteen or something, unless nineteen's a one-off story or something. And I got Star Wars Darth Vader issue number twenty-five, the last issue of so Charles Soule's awesome run on uh, this character and this title. So yeah, um, eventually I do hope to see Darth Vader return with an ongoing title. But um, I was kind of hoping he did take a little break. But he's already come back with a five-issue miniseries in Star Wars Vader Dark Visions. Uh, and I got the regular cover of that and the movie variant, which are both pretty good covers. This movie variant, though, pretty, pretty good looking. Uh, I am interested to see where this um, five-issue miniseries takes the character. From now on, whenever Vader gets a title, I will probably pick it up. But I was hoping I did have a little break on the character so I wouldn't be spending as much money. Um, but, of course, uh, they did not give a break. So, yeah, it just kind of happened. And I picked it up. And eventually I would like to see him get another ongoing, but not for a little bit, hopefully. But, yeah. So, yeah, that's that's it. That's all. This was the last book. Star Wars Fader Dark Visions, issue number one of five. Excited to see where that goes. I actually forget who does this. Oh, it's Hopeless. I love Hopeless. This is probably going to be good then. It looked pretty good when I flipped through. I don't know how it's going to stand uh, against this uh, last ongoing run, but yeah, I wish I had the first run, really do, someday hopefully, but yeah, um, so but anyway guys, I'm going to end the, I think I'm going to end the video now, so if, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, even share if you'd like to, and anyway guys, I'll see you on the next video, and peace out, bye.